In this project, there is a room with unusual shape, an odd cutout, and an exceptional lighting allocation. Let's look how to create such a cutout without using the automatic profile. Now we want to draw this odd shape. Select the ceiling and from the local menu select Add Hole command. As the contour of the hole has been already drawn, from the ribbon bar select the closed loop and then click on Inner Point of an Area command and finally click into the center of the shape. The hole has been created. Prepare the hole with this method for the circle. Open the ceiling properties. Here we can see our ceiling. Go to the holes and insets tab. Use the blue arrows to switch between cutouts. Select the larger one and then move to the second tab. Here set the plane option and then change its position. The vertical offset value should be minus 300 mm, so the inner ceiling will be lower. That's the result. If we want this inset to be larger than the cutout, then override the border offset value to 300 mm. So we get this as a result. Place a border on it. There will be no gap between them. The default 150 mm border will now be too low because we set a 300 mm as a border offset. Enter the border properties and change its height to 300 mm. To accept, press OK button and finally change the vertical offset value to minus 280 mm. As the border is 20 mm wide and we don't want it to get to the bottom, but to the top. Finally, the inset should be where the outside contour is. So let's change the horizontal offset to 300 mm. If we want to create such an inset on ceiling, then follow this process. Repeat this method on the circle as well. First, let's define the profile we want to place here. We also need to specify whether this profile should be larger or smaller and also should it differ from the cutout level. It is important how the border is positioned. Here we will use the vertical offset value minus 280 mm and also we need to change the height of the border to 300 mm as we did in the previous example. We practically finished and in this case we will not pull the border out to the edge. Now we can see two different examples of creating elements that rise from the ceiling. Finally, let's look at an example how to distribute light series along this curved line. Go to the Lighting tab and add a completely new profile. To do this, click on the star icon and then click on Select an Item command on the top menu bar and select the line with one single click. If you click on the green tick in the appearing dialog box, the allocation will be displayed immediately. If we consider that the current allocation of the 600 mm is appropriate for us, then write over the distance to, for example, 1000 mm in the properties of the lamp allocation. Accept with OK button and the final result will be a less frequent allocation. Accept with OK button and the ceiling is completed.